welcome to today's video. My name is Satwan from Digital Money Lab. Today I want to show you how online, mobile and face-to-face -face transactions are going to get much faster and more secure in future. This is thanks to some technology that's being developed and tested right now, which will be released over the next few years. Now, before I get to the cool stuff to show you what's coming, I wanted to start by explaining the current problems that exist how the payments industry have actually tried to solve those problems so far and finally what you can expect in the near future that's going to make e-commerce and face-to-face -face transactions much much easier so let's get started so up until now online payments have not been the most secure or very convenient on the security side of things there have been hundreds of security breaches and hacks especially over the last few years. If we look at this chart from the website informationisbeautiful.net, you can see that hundreds of millions, in fact, billions of identities or usernames and passwords, etc., have been leaked or breached over the past 10 plus years. And this is a situation that simply can't continue. Now, if you want to see this infographic in more detail, the link is below. It's actually an interactive chart. It's actually really good to, to have a look at it in more detail. Now, the next thing is it's also been very difficult for smaller businesses to build high quality websites with smooth payment process, such as something like Amazon, for example, so that customers can buy with a very few number of clicks. This is a problem that has got much worse as more people browse the web now on their mobile phones and smartphones. If you want to buy something on a mobile phone to spend, say, $30, it is too painful to fill out your name, billing address, shipping address. Then you've got to create a new username and password. And most people just abandon their shopping carts at this stage. And businesses all over the world lose hundreds of millions of dollars a day because of abandoned shopping carts and you know a purchasing process that's just too painful. To show you an example of this problem, let me show you a website that I've actually bought from in the past only once in 2017. Now, the first time I used it, they didn't even have an SSL certificate on the site. And I really didn't want to put my card details in there. But now they have this modern e-commerce platform, which is a lot better, although it still has lots of problems. The only way you can fill out or avoid filling out all of these boxes on the screen is to use PayPal with the button at the top. Now, that's fine if you have a PayPal account, but that limits your market quite significantly. And to be honest, in this particular example, where they sell video and photography accessories, you're not likely to buy from here very often. So this is exactly the kind of website where you want to be able to check out as a guest and get in and out very quickly. So even though this platform is now fairly modern, it's still severely lacking in a lot of ways. So to address these problems, Visa, MasterCard and American Express tried to solve these challenges using Express Checkout technology. MasterCard created something called MasterPass, Visa created Visa Checkout, and American Express created Amex Express. The idea was that you could use any of these digital wallet systems to store the details of every single card that you have and your billing address and every possible shipping address that you could possibly want to use. And the whole idea is that when it did come to the time to buy something, you would just use the digital wallet to pay for your purchase wherever you saw the buttons that you can see at the bottom of the screen. The digital wallet was supposed to make this easy because all of your card details and billing and shipping addresses would already be stored. But the problem with these systems were that most businesses didn't pick any of them to implement on their websites. And on the rare occasion that a business did pick one, you would have the situation where customers who used one or two of the other wallets couldn't use the fast checkout process. So this lack of standardization meant that none of them were very successful in gaining traction with customers or businesses. So the card industry got together to standardize on one platform. The company who is making the tools for this new standard platform is EMVCO. You're probably familiar with EMVCO because they are the company that has designed the chip and pin system that is embedded in credit and debit cards pretty much all over the world now. EMVCO have now extended their capabilities 
to make a whole set of brand new features that will make e-commerce much faster and more secure in future, whether you're doing business online or face-to-face. -face. On this slide, you can see all of the technologies that they're working on within this new standard. Now, I'm not gonna go through every single one here, but I can highlight a few benefits that are coming in future. So we have obviously contactless technology and, and standard contact card technology on the top left anyway, but let's focus on some of the new stuff. So QR codes are the bottom left. That's where a business or a merchant will be able to show a QR code to the customer uh, and, and, and point their phone to pay or the other way around. So it can be customer initiated or merchant initiated. The other thing you've got on the top right is payment tokenization. So that's great for security so that card detail, the card number doesn't have to be sent every single time that a transaction needs to be completed. The system allows one-off tokens to be passed between say a mobile phone and a card reader as an example. The bottom right hand side shows you the 3D secure system. Now that's where the intelligence will be brought in when a transaction needs to be evaluated for its risk there'll be up to 100 pieces of data that can be used to verify whether a transaction is being done by who is expected. And some of those checks include things like a standard risk-based assessment. It can include geographic risk points, such as if you're sitting in America and you're trying to do a transaction in the UK with your UK credit card, well, that could be legitimate because you're on holiday abroad, or it could be dodgy because somebody's trying to do a transaction that isn't you. So there's a whole bunch of 100 different data points that can be used to verify who you are and whether to let that transaction go through or not based on the risk profile. In the middle on the bottom right is the secure remote commerce section. So that's just another way of saying the online transaction piece. So that's the bit where it's gonna be standardized wallet-based technology. I personally haven't seen a new digital wallet based on this standard yet, but it will replace, ultimately it will replace the MasterCard, MasterPass system, the Visa Checkout, and the Amex Express over time. So I've included the link to EMV Co below in the description, so I definitely recommend that you check it out. It's a pretty dry website. Um, the other link that I've included below is actually the EMV Co's YouTube channel, where they've done a lot of webinars and lectures and so that's something I definitely recommend that you, you have a look at to see what's coming and how it's going to benefit you as a business owner. So in summary, what you have to look forward to in future is a standard online payment system, which will make it much faster and more secure to buy things without customers always having to enter details over and over again. And also more advanced security based on a mixture of variables, including your phone, your location, the risk profile of your transaction, to, to name just a few of the, the things I mentioned earlier. The specifications, as I said, enable up to a 100 point check to verify who you are. So this will help you to reduce fraudulent transactions and chargebacks, depending on how the technology is implemented by different payment processors or banks and credit card companies. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found that information to be useful. If you want to accept payments faster and increase sales in your company, please go to my website, digitalmoneylab.com, where you can book a free 15-minute online consultation. I'd be very happy to discuss your current payment situation and recommend the next steps to make it easier for your customers to buy from you. You can alternatively fill out the Contact Us form and I can get back to you from there. All of the website and social media links are coming up next. And once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.